Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are looking at WFACon. This happened in Japan on 14th of April. So basically it is a frame arms competition where all the participants have to pay 1000 yen to have their kits shown uh, at the exhibition and also online. So there are a lot of amazing entries um, shown here. You can pause the video and have a slow look at the entries here yourself. But today I want to look at more on the top three and look at their entries in more detail about how they actually bash their kit and how they created their entry for this WFA con. We will have all the entries from this WFA con at the end of the video. So if you'd like to look at all the entries, just skip back to the end to look at the entries. Coming in at third place and surprisingly at third place, they are tied. So they are two third place in WFA Con this year in 2018. So the first third place is at coming in at 520 points is this entry. Uh, it is very interesting to see this entry because they actually mash two separate kits together. Two frame arm kits are shown here, the White Tiger and the First Work Rufus. So they actually mash the two kits together to create this unique frame arms combination. If you look at the finishing as well as the paint job and the addition details that go into the frame arm kits for number 3, it's quite interesting. It's also a transformable um, mobile suit as well. And here is the second third place tie entry also at 570 points. This is uh, something that I really like. I'm not sure what mobile suits or different kits that he has used to kit bash his entry but I really like this entry. Uh, this entry is he has a bit more of a grunt feel on the ground with two twin blaster rifle cannon on his shoulder and as well as a lancer as well. Uh, this kit really is something that I like because it gives me that desert storm camouflage kind of a feel and at the same time it is quite mechanical as well I think some of the joints and as well as the piston systems are a bit hidden so you really need to pay attention to see how this builder has come up with his creation to end up at third place Coming in at 575 points for the second place, this entry, eh, we don't really like it, at least for me. So I'm not sure why this entry got second place. Maybe this builder has um, kit bash something interesting from a few separate kits. This entry reminds us of the Virtual On arcade gaming system many, many years ago. So um, it looks a bit simple, but well, he is second place for 505 points. So that is the entry here. Coming in at first place at 531 points, this guy's creation is superb, right? You might see that the color um, combination here is a bit simple but I think the reason why he got first place is his uh, imagination he's able to create a mashed up a kit bash of many different kits like for example if you see here the beam rifle reminds us very very much of the Gundam Zeta Plus beam rifle maybe it's from the Bandai series but if you look at everything else he is not limited to um, just buying from a few separate kits he pretty much kit bash this creation from a lot of different parts from a lot of different kits. Uh, what we really like is even though he kit bash his kits to become this creation, it doesn't look very convoluted, it doesn't look overdone. So I think maybe that's the reason why he got his first place, right? So that's it for WFA Con from Japan, right? Congratulations to all the winners. And if you'd like to see more about how they should their kit, just press pause and have a slow look and gaze about how they come up with their creation. Thank you very much for watching as usual guys and please subscribe and leave a comment if you have anything to talk about in terms of frame arms. We do think that frame arms don't get enough love compared to Gunpla in this space so thank you for watching. Bye bye.